Hey guys, Moon Chow here. So today I am trying something with chicken. I've never made this before, so I want to find out and see what happens. I've got some chicken drumsticks marinating in egg and some olive oil. And I'm going to use, <coughs> excuse me, two packs of this Hidden Valley Ranch um, salad dressing seasoning. I'm going to use two packs. And I have nine ounces of crushed up pork rinds that I just crushed in my uh, processor. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to find out. I'm going to air fry these in my new wave here. And they'll probably take anywhere from 40 to 50 minutes, an hour, who knows. They do take a little while in the air fryer, but this new wave goes up to about 350. My newer one goes to 395. However, I'm sorry, it goes up to 400. It's a little bit smaller than this one, so I don't really care how long it takes. I just want to see if it comes out right. So, two packs of the Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning in here. And I hope two packs is enough because that's all I have. And um, I'm not putting any any other seasoning, just what's in here. And I'm hoping this, uh, you know, comes out all right. Who knows? We will find out. But I wanted some chicken. I wanted something with a coating. I haven't had any chicken with a coating in so long. So I figured I'd give it a shot. So this is the messy part. I am going to grab a glove. And my new wave has, I have preheated it. Um, I just, uh, you know, put it on a pause because it's really loud. And I didn't want to put you through that trying to hear me. So, all I'm going to do is take my marinating drumsticks, pop them in here, like so. There's one. And I don't really know how many are going to fit on here, but we'll find out. And then uh, we'll get cooking once I've finished putting all these on here. So I'm just going to layer these on here, as many as I can fit. I don't even know how much chicken is in this bag. I have no idea at all. And I don't care. I'm going to cook it all up. So, all right. So I'm going to finish <coughs> coating those and putting those on, and then uh, we'll get started in cooking in a few minutes. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Our chicken is ready. It looks pretty good. It's nicely coated. Now, I have a lot of extra pork rind. I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to waste it, but at the same token, it's got eggs in it, so it's not like you can save it. So, Ellen, you know, was dipped in with the chicken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use up the leftover egg, so dump that right in there, and then I'm going to just throw in some cheese. And that's probably about a cup. It's Colby and Monterey Jack. And I'm going to mix this up. I'm not going to add any extra seasonings. We're just going to hope for the best with the, uh, the ranch seasoning packet. All right. I want one more egg. So let me grab another egg. Hang on. All right. One egg. I think it needs just a little bit more for binding. All right, so I'm going to mix this in, and hopefully I can, you know, have a little, you know, pork rind cheese crisp, and I will have not wasted the extra pork rind or the egg, and yeah, it's going to have that chicken flavor, but you know what, it's going to cook, I ain't going to even taste it. So, I'm just going to scoop it like this, mush it with my hands place it on the cookie sheet and these I'm going to stick in the big oven over here at 425 and we're going to give it 10-15 minutes and we'll see how they come out. So all I'm going to do is pop this on here and the chicken is going to cook for 350 or about 40, 50. 
I'm thinking it's going to take about an hour because I like mine nice and crispy, maybe an hour and a half. But we'll see. So when we come back, we'll have some, hopefully some really tasty chicken and some tasty cheese crisps with pork rinds. We'll find out. So stay tuned and thanks for watching today. I really appreciate We're it. About at the halfway point with our chicken. So I thought I would flip it over. And it certainly does smell good. Probably going to be out of view for a minute here. But the chicken looks good. I think we've got about, I don't know, 20 to 25 more minutes on the chicken. It looks really good. Smells really good. Like I said, I've never made chicken before this way, so we will see how it comes out. And if it tastes good, if I put enough seasoning pack on it, seasoning pack, seasoning on it. Now, these are the, the leftover batter. You see that? Which I just added an extra egg and added some cheese, so these are ready, so I can taste one of these now, just to see if it's even worth it. Mmm. Got a nice little crunch. <clears throat> the texture is quite different. I don't really know if you can see that or not. But it's, it's actually pretty tasty. Mm-hmm. Mm. You could eat one of those for a um, nice little protein snack and without wasting the extra pork rinds and the eggs. So, woohoo! Bonus! Alright, we'll be back when the chicken's ready. Thanks hey. for watching. Chicken is ready. Look at that. And it smells so good. It's nice and crispy. Do you hear that? So, it took about 45 minutes. Now, um, depending on which uh, new wave oven, air fryer oven that you use, you know, the cooking times will be different, you know, especially when the temperatures run differently. Halfway through, I did flip the chicken. I highly recommend you spraying your um, grill. These stuck a little bit, not too bad. And then I had three extra that I cooked in the oven at 425, and those only took 40 minutes. And you already saw these. And the internal temperatures were over 160. So these are just so nice and crispy. I mean, it looks so good. I mean, just listen to that. That is awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's cut into one of these bad boys and see how it tastes. And the chicken is, it's literally just kind of like falling off the bone here. I mean, it looks really good. It's steaming. I mean, yeah. All right, here goes. Mmm. I don't know if you can hear that crunch, but it's good. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. It's got a really nice flavor. It's nice and crispy. But I think I would have added, you know, maybe some onion powder or maybe even another season pack. I mean, it tastes good. It, it really is good. But I think I would have just, I guess I'm looking for the onion, you know, maybe some onion flavor. I probably should have put onion powder on it, but it's really good. It didn't take that long to cook. It's nice and crispy. I think the... The worst part is just going to have to clean this thing. But I love it, so I don't mind doing it. So this is my air fried chicken, ranch seasoning chicken. Really good. Just bump it up a notch, add a little bit of onion powder to that seasoning, or maybe just put another package in there. But it cooks up really nice. It's really, really crispy. It looks good. It tastes good. And, you know... This chicken is going to pair good with any kind of vegetable, whether it's uh, green beans, 
potatoes, carrots, you know, broccoli. It's going to go good with any of that. So thank you for watching and until next time. Bye.